The migrating monarch butterfly is an endangered species, recently added to the red list of threatened species. Amy Loving and her colleagues at Nahant Marsh love the monarch, and uh, you've done a lot to protect and educate about the monarch for, I think, years now, right, Amy? Yes, yes. Yeah. So um, it's really important that we support natural areas and preserves like Nahant Marsh. Um, because that is habitat for them. But there's things that people can do at home as well to support monarch habitat. Yeah, we're, we're gonna talk about that in a moment, but I wanna ask you about, um, I guess people don't always understand why things uh, become endangered or in danger of extinction. What's the reason on the on the monarch? So for the monarch butterfly, there's quite there's a few different reasons, but there's two main ones. One of them is weather, and one of them is habitat loss. Mm. So weather, um, a big storm can knock out seventy to eighty percent of a population a in storm. a given year. Yes. Okay. Yes. And what else? I mean, uh, um, other uh, other things that is it is it pollution related ever or anything like that? Certainly, um, you know, pesticides can definitely play a role. They have their own uh, parasites that are going to affect them. Mm -hmm. And of course, habitat loss is probably the biggest one mm -hmm. um, from deforestation um, to clearing areas for residential and agricultural areas. So, Well, you know, I, I mean, you're, you're a young person, but when I was a kid, I feel like we saw a lot of monarchs. It was it's normal to see monarch butterflies in the yards and on the flowers. And now they're like a rare, oh, it's a monarch. It's a rare thing. Yes. So the populations have definitely decreased um, quite a bit. I won't get into the statistics, but they've increased or decreased a lot. And so it's really critical that we um, look at ways where we can increase habitat and increase their um, nectaring food sources because a monarch is going to need to eat uh, besides just in its larval stage. So mm -hmm, when they're mm -hmm. little and they're in their larval stage, they're gonna be eating um, So the larval milkweed. stage is um, pointed at? That's going to be um, kind of listed here. So, so we've got our eggs. These and little our, guys right yep, here. Our see? eggs and How our looks. little caterpillars. And the female is going to lay her eggs, to deposit her eggs on milkweed. Oh, okay. And okay. that larva, that caterpillar, has to eat milkweed and only milkweed. Oh. Yep. Okay. So you can plant milkweed in your yard, and that'll encourage the females to deposit their eggs on that milkweed. And then you can plant things like liatris, uh, coneflower, right other here. native flowers that mm -hmm. are gonna be nectaring sources for the adults. Okay, so th these are good examples of, yes. you said uh, the coneflowers here. Coneflower, yep. What, what, what else? So we have swamp milkweed here. Okay. Um, we have ironweed here, and this is blazing star or liatris here. Liatris, yes. yes. And these are, I mean, we find these around here. I mean, these are, these are flowers you're gonna find out in fields even. Absolutely, and um, some of our roadsides have actually started to incorporate n more native plantings into the roadsides. Okay. So imagine all the roadsides in the whole United States. That's a lot of area, yes. a lot of habitat that could be increased by adding in some of these native wildflowers. Yes, that'd be great. We, we all need to keep it in mind for our own yards and in our communities, Absolutely, right? and yeah. um, we've got resources that can help folks do that if they are Good. interested in doing that. Now, you're doing something else in September. Yes. Uh, that you've done this for a while mm -hmm. at Nahant. To explain it. Yeah, so this is our seventh annual monarch release party. Okay. And what we do is we have volunteers who are raising monarchs, and whatever adults they have that are ready to be released that day, we um, have them at Nahant Marsh. Folks come in. They can put a little, place a little tag you can take onto the marsh, this or this onto the monarch. And th this little um, the, the paper tells what, what you do. So the tagging is, is what? Explain that part. So the tagging is a little sticker that you get from Monarch Watch. And that little sticker, once uh, that, that monarch is found with the sticker on it, if it's reported to Monarch Watch, mm -hmm. they can track the migration and they can also track the population of the monarch. Hmm. And so it allows scientists to get a better gauge on the populations and the movements of the monarch. Hmm. So we tag them in September because that's when they are migrating to, uh, to Mexico, to the mountains of Mexico, and that's yeah. where they're gonna stay all winter long. It's, you know, when we, uh, there's that there movie, there's a movie out at the Putnam yeah. that shows this migration. It's an incredible sight. I mean, it's absolutely breathtaking. Yeah. You know, all of these butterflies at once. And do you feel that there's, there's good hope for, uh, for 
keeping these things around for us. I think so. I think peop there's a lot of people doing a lot of things. And I think if we continue to do that and we continue to spread the word, mm -hmm. um, then I think we can really make a difference. Okay. Well, let's uh, well let's do so. And it's really neat that, that you guys help out with that so much at Nahant Marsh. Yeah. So let's uh, remind, remind people of that date again in September, the second weekend? It's the second weekend. Okay. Um, I believe it's the 10th of September at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. So you can come check it out there. Yeah. And you guys have a beautiful website that tells everything else that you do. This is uh, World Nature Conservation Day, so that's kind of neat, yeah. right? I mean, that's that's every day for you, Ex right? Absolutely. <laughs> at Nahant Marsh, and you can look up the website, which is .org. Good seeing you, Amy. Good job. Thank you and so thank, much. Thanks for what you're doing. And th thanks for this good example of what we can all you can plant this yet, you yeah. know, yeah. and uh, and help out in your, your own little way. Absolutely, and it's beautiful. It is, right?